Yamnair people, founders of Indo-European cultures and languages, with Thor, Zeus, and Indra, Hindu god, descendants. Dwarkesh Patel is the author of a YouTube channel at Dwarkesh Patel with 353k subscribers and 458 videos. In this channel Dwarkesh Patel interviews geneticist David Rye on several occasions. One of the interviews led to the next video, How Horse Nomads Took Over Europe 5000 Years Ago. Saurav Jeswal commented on the above video. The title of this video is inspired by his comment. Yamnair people together with other European people were the descendants R1A and R1B of the American parent founders R1. Consequently the Yamnair people etc. R1A and R1B are not the founders, instead the American parent YHP R1 were the founders and had their roots in the Americas. One can clearly see this when one looks at maps that present the frequencies of the YHP R tree, root R1 in the Americas to descendants R1A Yamnair and R1B corded where group and beaker group. We show this YHPR tree frequency map and the migration and the consequential turnover event in several of our videos of our channel Origin for Existence and Climax for Existence. Geneticist David Rye is probably the first scientist that detected and publicly commented on the presence of Native American DNA in Europeans, with the association of Native American DNA with Northern European people presenting the highest association. Geneticist David Rye also detected and publicly commented as probably the first scientist on the disruptive YHPR population turnover events themselves. All this is because the involved YHPR descendants came from the Americas mostly with the help of the North Atlantic Current and Jaya. The involved YHPR descendants came and at least part of them went back in cycles or waves with the same or recycled fleets of ships. David Rye hypothesizes that the Yamnair got absorbed by the Corded Ware group and then later by the Beaker group and those took mainly YHP R1B further in and through Europe. The Corded Ware group and later the Beaker group are new and or more elite or more warfare people, and less agricultural, that had arrived by one ship or fleet or incoming waves from the Americas, arriving and landing at the Atlantic facades, through the North Atlantic current, possibly also bringing warfare including chariots or pieces, few more and young domesticated horses and possibly rare oars and mobile blast furnaces with them. Whatever they would not or could not bring with them on the boats would be arranged or delivered to them quite shortly after the mass or fleet's landing. We are claiming international organization. We claim possibly more domesticated horses because domesticated horses probably were delivered to or traded with the newly arriving possibly at arrival and possibly directly by the Yamnair etc., which had brought over domesticated horses already before which they had intensively bred on the steppes, together with Sintashta, Bwatai, etc. There is a chance that extensive rows of men here on the Atlantic facades, as for instance in Karnak, France, were to signal, fires and smoke, and organize with men here or standing stones that from the ocean incoming troops or maybe even to encounter their dedicated legions or representatives, life support and or horses. We claim that these boats, sails, fleets and organization are depicted on some of the on-site men here. Possibly the population turnovers had more strategy behind them than we think of today, and also had more of a caste or class system instead of violent genocides by the newly arriving with voluntary exodus of the caste of farmers that went further ahead to other regions and consequently disappear from further genetics in the locations where the newcomers arrived and form and defend their Atlantic facade bases before starting of the population turnover events further ahead, south and land inwards. It would be our pleasure and an honor to better justify our comment directly with David Rye and or Dwarkesh Patel. Thank you.